Okay, let's see if we can pick this lock. I mean, obviously we can. It's just... Whoops. <laughs> As he breaks the lock. Stupid big owners. We're making noise all night again. See ya. the nice stalkers. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. Mm. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. One thing at a time. Although they are right there, so let's just talk to them. Oh, hello. Muties aren't so tough if you've got the firepower. Our business is with the muties, not you. Muties? Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. <laughs> Damn straight. These aren't so tough. If you Get out of here. Firepower. Is it Predator? It's Predator.
What a shame. So the Reds finally hit us, just like I always said they would. Vegas is still there as far as I know, but that probably won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? <laughs> That's every man for himself now. Had to take care of the pulse of the boy since he knew about this place. And they supplies it for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. The man's got needs. Our cage just goes off and runs off on his own. Like, to just What a guy. Eat the glowing mushrooms? I can't eat these mushrooms. <laughs> Word of a kid. But in this case, I cannot.
still another one around here Pull a whole a whole uh, Far Cry thing where like you eat the mushrooms and then you just like go on a crazy trip. You're like, Whoa! Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not gonna get it from us. Sweet. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Not really. That happened. Worse. If Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Go. 
go. And then the research. Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutation so rapidly. More mm -hmm. importantly, this explains why my research into this group of night stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Possibly immediate and permanent mental damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll be waiting. Interest. Jimmy, little Jimmy, my, how you're grown up. <laughs> so good of you to come visit your grandma. Aww, he thinks he's a grandma. Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Very well. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <laughs> Feels strange. Strange, my God! Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah! Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is... Zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set <laughs> to it. 
I got a lot of useful data from the experiment Ooh. and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... That's brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think mm -hmm. of that. Huzzah, things. Gain a sneak bonus to offset the light's sneak penalty. Okay. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. <laughs> a regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No Some one's going to sing like Doc Henry's problems. praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives <clears throat> than I ever will. I like Solomon. 